Well, hello. Today, I'm going to expand my mark making library using 11 items that I found at the grocery store. Sometimes it's not easy to get my hands on a new stencil or art supply, but it's easy enough to grab a bag of oranges and a scrubber and see what I can make out of it. So let's get started. First up, we have potato bag mesh, and I'm stamping into my sketchbook, which I've taped off into different sections. I'm using a, just a regular craft sponge, and this is burnt umber acrylic paint. I tried to make sure that my sponge was nice and dry so that we weren't getting any sort of soggy stamping. So let's see what we get. Hey, that turned out pretty nice. I quite like that grid pattern with those little offset diagonal lines. I also made a stamp with this same mesh. Let's see what happens. Mm, it turned out okay. I'm going to have to press a little harder next time. Next up, as I make my way through the produce section, I have a bag of avocados. So you'll see for quite a few of these mesh patterns, I'll go ahead and use them as a stencil first and then show you what they look like as a stamp. Mm, I quite like that diamond pattern. Now let's see what the stamp looks like. Ooh, that's a bit more subtle, but I still like it. Let's see what's next. A bag of oranges. Now this mesh is larger and it moves around quite a bit. And I, I like that. I like that it wiggles a bit, but you can see it's moving as I'm stamping. So I just had to go with it. I had to trust that it was going to come out. Let's see what happened. Yeah, I quite like that. I like that the grid is not uniform, that it's quite wavy. Let's see what happens with the stamp. Ooh, I love that too. This bag of oranges is a winner. Next up, I found a mesh laundry bag. And I felt like, well, for $3, I could sacrifice it to my art. Let's see what happens. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Now let's see what the stamp looks like. Hmm, that's quite nice too. Great. Number five is drawer liner. This one didn't work well as a stencil, but let's try it out as a stamp. Ooh, I like that one. It's quite distinct. But there's another type of drawer liner that might also be called a lid opener. And let's try that one as well. This one didn't really need a backing. It was nice and thick. So I could just use it all on its lonesome. Let's see what happens. Mmm, I love that one. Definitely going to have to use it. Now in the health and beauty section, I found these corn cushions. Not surprisingly, they created these lovely ovals. In the air freshener section, I found this lid. And again, I'm going to use it as a stencil, but it's nice and thick as well. So it didn't work with a sponge. So I had to use one of my old hardware store paint brushes to get this one to work out. Yeah. 
Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Next up, a ball of steel wool. Let's give it a nice squish. It's a very interesting um, sort of sensorial experience to work with these different supplies. Yeah, a beautiful little rosette. Wonderful. Next up is neither a stamp nor a stencil. It's your, you know, everyday comb. So I'm going to lay down some acrylic paint and then we're going to drag the comb through. I like that there are fine and wider bristles on this one so you get a, you know, a variety of textures. Let's see if I can lift this up. You might be able to see some of the, that texture that we just put in there. Quite nice. Finally, I found this metal mesh that was advertised as a lint trap. It doesn't work well as a stencil, but let's try it as a stamp. creates an interesting texture. So now that we're all done exploring these grocery store items, let me give you a peek into some of the things I've created with them. And I'd also love to hear from you. Would you like to see these items in action, creating art, or do you use some really original items that you find at home or in the grocery store to help you make your art? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again in the future. Bye-bye.